After spending two nights in Colombo, I planned my way down to the mountains of Nowara Ilia in the central part of Sri Lanka. So here I am in the train station of Colombo Fort. By the way, if you are planning to pre-book online, you can only get the first class cabin with a confirmed seat number. For the second class and third class, you can just book them in the train station where you start from. For me, I booked this ticket one month ahead of my travels to ensure my smooth travels to Nuwara Ilia. So last February of this year, I can only get an online reservation for the first class cabin. But as of today, month of April, if you check on this website, it shows here that the third class, second class and even sleeper or night train can already be booked or pre-booked. Wow, that's impressive, I guess. Accordingly, if you are traveling or you're going to Nawara Ilia, you should be alighting at Nanooya train station on a Colombo Fort Badula route. And that would take us on an 8 hour trip to the destination. And I did more research that said all train tickets can be printed at window 4. So I proceeded and find that window to get a printed ticket which is necessary to board the train. By the way, after completing the step 3 and 4 which is the confirmation of schedule and payment plus passengers information, there's a total of 2625 rupees for the ticket price plus convenience fee. Hi, uh, yeah, I booked this ticket online. Uh, you should go house number 17. 17? Oh, that's it's for the order. first class? Yeah, that's first class. Thank you. This is counter 17. <laughs> So yeah, apparently that was not the window to print from. The staff asked me to look for window 17. So with my luggage, my phone, my camera on my hands, I struggled to find the ticketing counter and finally getting here. I came to check on this so many windows and I'm so overwhelmed at this point in time. After composing myself and figuring out, I found the window, I calmly checked on my email, I lined up with the locals and I am so happy to get my ticket, finally. As I entered the platform, I found my way to this resting area specifically for ladies only and yeah, I felt more relaxed now while watching the train coming and passing by. It could really be overwhelming to see this crowd, the noise plus the humid weather but uh, I just let the time pass by. I waited patiently and go with the flow enjoying the moment and blend with the locals that way i felt better a few more minutes of waiting and wondering our train arrived and boarded passengers on time i was seated at the middle part of the cabin As I was busy setting up my seat, a group of family asked if they could exchange seat with me so they could sit together but I refused. I was sorry. For me, I wanted to follow the seat allocated in cases of emergencies or booking issues that may arise along the way. Experience. Uh, 
Tapos mayroong pumapasok din na mga beggar. Uh, may humihingi ng alms. So sabi ko, binigyan ko na lang siya ng 20. Naka <laughs> si Mahot siya. <laughs> Makakulang yun sa kanya. <laughs> Nagdaan na natin yung Lotus Tower. Yeah. Yung bayad daw pumunta sa taas is 20 USD. So, pero hindi naman ako pumunta dyan. Ang galing ng kanilang railway system. Oh. I was glad the train left on time off to the railways in this view of my window. I have been admiring the scenic places on our way and once again it reminds me of home. As I look through these places I realize how Sri Lanka has a lot of similarities in the Philippines. The rice paddies, the greeneries, the vegetation, the way of living and a lot more. The reason I decided to travel to Nuwara Ilia is because of its pleasant weather. It again reminds me of Benguet where I grew up. Soon, after a week of researching, I tossed my coins and just decided to make my way here and escape the equally stunning beauty of Kandi and Ella. I told myself that one day, this will be one of the reasons to come back and immerse myself to other places in Sri Lanka because why not? In this journey, I never thought of leaving my seat like other passengers do. I can't remember how many different seatmates I had during this trip. There's one time the seat opposite my direction was occupied by passengers boarding from other stations and when the original group came back they haven't had seat anymore. I was just observing. I saw them switch to other empty seats behind. My fear of having this incident happen being in the first class cabin. Anyways. All went well and we continued the journey up to Kandy. This time around, we had more than an hour of stopover, so I had my dinner, which I brought all the way from Colombo. I was glued to my seat, and for some good reasons, I didn't have the urgency to use the toilet. I was so happy with that. I wanted to be safe alone in this corner and just be with myself without bothering other passengers and wanting to avoid any confusion on the seating arrangement. It was getting late and the cabin was almost empty so I decided to leave my seat and check out on the toilet. I was so happy to finally relieve myself and breathe some fresh air under this dark unrecognized place going to Nanooya.
At this point in time, I didn't really knew which part of Sri Lanka we were at. It was almost past 9 in the evening. I did a quick Google and uh, check how many more stops should I count before alighting at my destination. As expected, a 7.5 hours train ride became a crazy 10 hours trip, but I am not complaining. I enjoyed it a lot. I had my book with me to read on and a fully charged phone to monitor my location and our direction. Is the exit? Exit here. Yeah, I mean, Tuk Tuk driver is waiting for me. <laughs> yes, yes. I finally arrived in my homestay past 10 in the evening and I already felt the cooling temperature just like my hometown in Binget. I felt home. It is what I really needed after a long day of travel. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Anyone you want to help you? Then talk to you, okay? I'm upstairs. You're upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. already 10 30 in the evening Ganda, right private shower 